Hey YouTubers, this is Janae from Janae's Corner, and all you guys may not know, but I am officially an army girlfriend. Yes, I am an army girlfriend. It's pretty exciting. Um, it has its moments because you know you're missing them. My boyfriend at the moment, he's in basic training, and his graduation's in October. I am super excited. Like, I cannot wait. I already have my outfit already, and it's just September. Like, <laughs> but this video is basically about how I make our communication wise because we only communicate through letters so how I make our communication circumstances as exciting as possible through crafts and unique ideas so if you want some great gift ideas for your boyfriend or girlfriend stay tuned all right so for starters obviously for letters and envelopes I use like the largest envelope you can use I mean you can use the um the yellow envelope that you can get from the post office you can like put a, like a bunch of letters in I use that one time but I don't really, I only use it one time. I don't use it often. So yeah, just a regular envelope. If you put a lot of um, letters in this size envelope, like the regular one, make sure you put two stamps just in case because I just do that because sometimes it's too heavy for just one stamp. So make sure you just put two. Also for the envelopes, make sure to not, all right, understand girls, like you want to like decorate the envelope and stuff. Make sure you don't, like you want your envelope to be, just plain because the sergeant the drill sergeants are going to most likely like look at the ones that are the most noticeable if they all look the same you know what I mean I doubt that they would like try to look more into it or whatever but yeah just make sure that you do not put any decorations or anything like that on these envelopes just keep all of your cutesy stuff on the end all right so the first um crafty idea that I did was from I got my idea from this photo that I found on google Alright, so in this photo, it shows a bunch of different colored envelopes, and they're themed, like, um, whew, like, open when you are, and then you could put sad, or open when you're missing me, or open when you want a story, or open when you want to laugh, and I just feel like it's very creative because this is when I use the big, like, envelope you get from the post office, because I was gone for a whole week, because I went on, like, my 21st birthday cruise, and I wanted him to be able to have like multiple letters, you know what I mean? I didn't want him to think that I wasn't thinking about him or that I didn't want to write him for an entire week, you know? So basically, I like chose like, I think five of those different themed letters and then I wrote like a personal letter in each of them and I put them all in one like big envelope that you can get from the post office and that was basically it and he loved it like that was the best and it was nice because when he wrote me back he told me which letter he liked the most you know what I mean so it's like exciting and yeah so now I'm gonna tell you craft number two. all right so for craft number two I got very creative with this one this was actually the first creative thing that I decided to do um, when sending letters to each other. For this craft, I'm going to show you a picture of it now. Alright, so in that photo, it actually shows like a legit like checkers board. I created myself. I literally took like a plain printer paper, like this size, and then I took a ruler and like lined eight lines going this way. And then I turned it and then I did eight lines going this way also. And obviously you color some pieces black, some pieces white. And to make the pieces, I just made like a like my first circle and then I like traced it for it. That was like a stencil for all the other circles. And for us to play together, um, I put Velcro on the back of each of the circles. Like I put Velcro on all of the um, black squares that I colored in on the checkers board because obviously you don't use the white squares but yeah and he enjoyed it like literally we send the checkers board game to each other like back and forth like within every couple letters and like we're playing a game together you know so it keeps the relationship interesting now I'm gonna show you craft number three for craft number three this is for our six month anniversary. I wanted to, actually, I'll show you guys the photo of it right now. All right, so for this craft, I wanted to make it really interesting because, I don't know, for some reason with him being gone, I've like, 
game. I've like un, um, noticed how creative I am because I've always liked arts and crafts, but I've never really been that out of the, that much out of the box. You know what I mean when it comes to certain things. But yeah, so this was the regular size envelope, and then I would cut another size envelope this much shorter, and then I'll cut another, another size this much shorter, and then another one that was this short. So it was like. Maybe like the last envelope was like this short in size. And then that's when I put what I put in the, on the photo. This is the one that has the envelope, you know, get ready to read this mushy letter. And I feel like he enjoyed it. Like, I haven't necessarily got a response from that specific one yet. But I'm, like, really looking forward to seeing what he's going to say about it. But, alright. Um, let's go to craft number four. It's not really a craft, but it's, it's basically what I keep all of the letters in so that they're not cluttered. But obviously for this, you can choose whatever to put. You can put your letters in like a box if you want. But this is just how I decided to organize the letters. Alright guys, so I organized the letters in this photo album. Um, for my 21st birthday, I went with three of the girls that were also 21. They're my best friends. And we went to the Bahamas on a cruise. And yeah, so there was a bunch of vendors and I really wanted something unique. I didn't want to just buy anything, so I ran across this photo album. It says the Bahamas and then it has sand, like real sand. This is basically, this is made out of, you know, natural products and um, this is basically um, a branch from a tree and these are leaves. And then this is the back. And this is how I keep his letters organized from the inside. Whoop. Oh, I have an example. One second. This is what it looks like. I don't necessarily want to show you guys the letters because they have addresses on it, but. And then literally, I just placed all his letters. And like these like two per page so far I have three four five six seven eight I have nine letters so far which is really exciting because I like read them whenever I miss him or whatever and I don't know they're really helpful but yeah that's basically it guys um it's really hard, but I feel like if you really, truly feel like that's the person for you, then you should go for it, you know? And if you guys have plans for, like, the future, you know what I mean? Then I feel like you should so do it. But, yeah, um, I hope this video helps you guys, and I, and I hope that, um, it's, this is very beneficial, and I hope you guys love it. Thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe. Bye, guys.